let's get this out in the open now. This dish is not easy. It's technically difficult. There are a million ingredients in it. You need a blender, you need a food mill, uh, you need a sieve, you need an x-ray machine, you need um, a laser, and that's why I'm here. I'm gonna simplify this dish so you feel good making this at home. Historic Friedman's Town played the backdrop for this week's challenge. It's Houston's first heritage district, so you are in a sacred and very special place. These chefs had to make food that fed their soul and uplifted them. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Cooking with feel today. The winning chef today is Jay. For Jay, she took a cue from her mother and made a cod dish that won over the judges. It's a really great dish for you to learn how to make really technical things like a beautiful bisque. So guys, we have a lot of work ahead of us, so let's start to really extract everything. You really want to get a nice roast on these shells and on these heads so they build the flavor. We're gonna get some olive oil inside, and then we're gonna get our shrimp shells inside. You really want to get that sizzle going on. You see that? See, you see the color change really, really, really quickly, and that's what you want with this. Two shallots sliced. One clove of sliced garlic, one tablespoon chopped ginger, a tablespoon of tomato paste. Get that on the bottom of the pan. We've got all this beautiful fondant on the bottom of the pan. We're gonna add two quarts of water, a tablespoon crab paste, a tablespoon of miso. Crab paste, you'll find it in Southeast Asian markets. If you can't find that, the closest thing you can get to is fish sauce. You can puree this hot. Definitely do this in batches, right? You don't want to try and do this in one shot unless you want to be cleaning shrimp bisque off the ceiling of your kitchen for like the next three months. Give this guy a buzz. Hack. If you have shells, tap the strainer instead of trying to push down. You'll get a cleaner broth. Salt, some pepper. That's delicious. We are going to put this away and get started on our next item. I miss my home, but I can feel their support and love. I'm making Korean sweet potato puree. So Jay used Korean sweet potatoes, which are a little bit hard to find. You could feel free to sub any type of sweet potato or yam that you can find in the market. So we have three smaller potatoes, and we're gonna cut these and dice these into cubes and get them into the water. So what I like to do, get a nice flat surface. Guys, we're slicing, we're dicing. You know, this dish has a lot of technique and uh, has a, a lot of ingredients, but it is well worth the work. Making sure you're not overcooking, adding too much water to these because they have such a high water content already. We don't use boiling water with potatoes. That's a surefire way for your potatoes to get uh, gluey. If you bring it up slowly, it's a more even heat. No salt, and we're gonna let this cook until they're tender. This is when you know a potato is done, right? When it kind of just falls off a knife with a little bit of pressure. These potatoes are ready to rice. Strain your potatoes directly into your ricer. This is essentially a colander. I'm gonna take my ricer, put over my bowl that I'm gonna mix into. You just turn this until the potatoes get forced through the holes in this ricer. So now that we have our potatoes rice, we're going to season these with half a cup of butter, quarter cup of mascarpone, and one cup of milk. Season a little salt. We want to keep this puree warm, so we're going to put this back into a pot, put a lid on it, and we'll wait until we're done with all the ingredients. Oh, it tastes very good. It's silky, sweet, and savory. Tastes like home. So let's move on to our vinaigrette for the cod. This is basically a dump and stir. Two tablespoons of sesame oil, two tablespoons of canola oil, one minced shallot, two scallion stalks chopped, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and one tablespoon of yuzu koshu. So yuzu koshu is a fermented pepper paste that's seasoned with yuzu zest. You can also sub like a, a spicy chili paste with just some zest of lemon or lime. Guys, that's it. Simple, easy. We're gonna set this off to the side and we're gonna make our cod. So we have about a pound and a half of cod cut into fillets here. We're gonna simply season, salt, a little pepper. 
bake this in the oven, 325 for like 12 to 15 minutes. You know, so Jay, she's that uh, overachiever, right? So she made her own kimchi. You can easily find really great kimchi. And you know, when you're building the pantry, like kimchi is one of those things that it gets better as it ages and you use it in different applications when it's aged. This is store-bought uh, cabbage kimchi and this is a uh, pickled daikon. Really easy to prep this. It comes in these nice big logs. It's gonna add a lot of pop to this dish. Our cod is just about ready. We're gonna pull it out of the oven. My mom used to cook the whole fish all the time. She's definitely a tiger mom. <laughs> the beauty of this dish is, is you want it to be flaked. So go ahead and flake it and check to see in the middle if it's not transparent. You see that it's, it's flaking apart. It's not kind of like sticking together. That's when you know a piece of fish is done, right? So what's great about this and a technique I've never seen before, you're taking cooked fish and then adding it to this marinade. I've never seen it before and uh, it sounds absolutely delicious. So here's our flaked cod. You know, you want kind of bigger pieces. As you stir it, it's gonna kind of break up a little bit. So you can put a bigger piece in, gently. I mean, how good does that look? And you want to do this while the fish is still a little bit warm, so it really has a chance to soak up all those flavors. And we're done. All right, guys, let's get all of our ingredients and plate this dish. Mama Kim's flake codfish with the Korean sweet potato puree and shrimp fish and kimchi, just to give a texture and acidity. Let's go with the puree first. Nice, healthy dollop. Some of this beautiful flaky cod. That is so bomb. Some of this beautiful bisque right around the edges of this. Finish this with a little fresh kimchi on top and some pickled daikon radish. Don't mix it, I will just scoop and then with the puree, pickle, and the kimchi and broth, I will taste it. Guys, look at this dish. This is like all of our hard work in a bowl. It looks beautiful. Just gotta taste it. Jay, I hope this dish is just like mama made. Jay, that is a lot of work, but my God, is this worth it. The capital of South Korea is Seoul, and so she's, she's got <laughs> it, she's got it. Dang. What Jay set out to do was basically make a deconstructed seafood chowder, and she nailed it, absolutely nailed it. This dish was made with a lot of love, but hopefully we've made it with a few less ingredients so you can make it at your table. Keep watching next week for Top Recipe. I'm tired. This dish was this dish was some work.